prospect Tyron T. Wood Woodley of St. Louis in non-title welterweight action. Uh, I thought it was important for this fight against Nathan McCoy to um, go back to my roots of wrestling. You know, it's a tough wrestler. So I thought it was really important to have a lot of wrestlers rotating on me, college level, all-American status wrestlers, you know, come in and attempt to take me down, me defend and take them down or strike with them. I'm walking out there, my body might be in hostile territory, you know, being the local favorite and here in Portland in this backyard. But for me, you know, I'm going to be so zoned in, so focused, you know, I like to consider myself, you know, the spiritual warrior. Today I bought five smooth songs, symbolic of David and Goliath, you know, not the armor, not the helmet, not the big sword you think you need, but uh, these are symbolic of me taking on Goliath in my life. He took on the line in the bear first, and eventually he knocked down Goliath, so that's, you know, my MMA career in a nutshell, the up-and-coming prospect fighter. He's going to take down some Goliaths, he's going to slow with Nathan Coy, he's going to work his way to the title, so, you know, that's what these represent. First to the cage, he stands five feet nine inches tall. Official weight 170 pounds. With a background in wrestling, this explosive athlete has an undefeated record of six wins and no losses. With all of his wins coming by way of submission, please welcome the four-time All-American freestyle wrestler from Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of St. Louis, Missouri. Tyron Woodley has all the tools to be a champion someday, although not in the Portland Faithful's books. A creative thing here. They're reading their newspaper. They're not interested in Tyron Woodley because, of course, he is facing a local favorite by the name of Nate Coy. But in just his seventh professional fight, Woodley already has designs on facing Strike Force welterweight champion Nate Diaz. Do you think he's ready? I think he's ready. But Nate Diaz, by the way. Oh, yeah. Nate, his brother. Yeah, but he's got to get past Nathan Quarry. The first time we saw Tyron Woodley in Strike Force Challengers, he fought Zach Light, who on paper, was his equal in the wrestling department as well as having three times the experience in MMA. But it wasn't long before Woodley became and emerged as the better wrestler in the fight. T. Wood also uncorked punching combinations to accentuate the multitude of takedowns. Then he stunned Light with a very sneaky armbar finish. Woodley demonstrated his versatility as well as his conditioning. And in his last fight, Woodley faced a very savvy Rudy Bears, who was on a six-fight win streak. T. Wood wasted no time in grounding Bears, but later displayed a little Muay Thai before returning to the safety of his wrestling. But takedowns are the only thing Woodley is good at, as he quickly demonstrated when he put Bears away with an arm triangle choke. Now that T. Wood, Tyron Woodley, has gotten the attention of those inside of the sport, he has his sights firmly set on the walkerweight title. But first, he's got to get past a very tough Nathan Coy. And speaking of Coy, he is a local favorite and someone who wants to derail the T. Wood Express. My name is Nathan Coy, and I want to salute all the working class people in the Portland area. Much love. Let's do this. You know, I had to work and work with my father, framing houses. And every day when I was training, I was working too. And nobody's worked harder than me for this. I'm ready for it. Yeah, this is my personal item. This is just a reminder. You know, for three years, I was facing this dream of being an MMA star. I know Tyrone from uh, our wrestling days in college. He's an aggressive, explosive athlete. Uh, what I expect in this fight is a mayhem, destruction. I mean, if it goes 15 minutes, it's gonna be fight of the air. If it, if it goes sooner, it'll be knockout of the night. And now, let's welcome his opponent to the cage. He stands six feet, one inches tall. Official weight, 171 pounds. This Oregon State All-American wrestler has a professional record of eight wins and two losses. With two of his wins by knockout and four by submission. Let's welcome the up-and-coming prospect from right here in Portland, Oregon, Nathan.
Do not adjust your television sets. Uh, that is Nate Coy after, uh, well, his traditional ritual where he always shaves his head when he's fighting in front of the hometown faithful. Don't ask us why. And like many of the athletes on tonight's card, he has a wrestling background. As the crowd here begins to chant, Nate, Nate, Nate. He was a two-time Pac-10 champion at Oregon State where he graduated with a record of 85 and 42. Despite his, uh, well, sterling wrestling credentials, Woodley, well, he doesn't think that uh, Coy will be able to keep him down and uh, vice versa. What do you think, Stephen? Who, who, who do you give the edge to in this one? Well, I, I, I don't know who I give the edge to, but at the beginning of this show, Pat Militich talked about how he was really looking forward to this fight, and so am I, because this man is not only defending his home turf, but he's also got the same pedigree, almost, that T. Wood does, and he expects to stay off of the bottom if it goes there, but he does expect a lot of takedowns. We may see a replay of our very first fight between Healy and Travers with lots of takedowns by both guys. And these guys trained before together a couple years ago. Tail of the tape, Nathan Coy, a little bit older, taller definitely, uh, has the height advantage, but not the reach advantage. Woodley with very long arms for his height, and he has boxing skills, so he may end up using them. This bout is in the welterweight division. It is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. The referee in charge in the action is Dave Hagan. Blue, you ready? Red, you ready? Fight! We are set for this three-round affair in the welterweight division. Immediately, Woodley goes on the attack. Coy now working the wizard, but Woodley takes Coy down. Beautiful leg work and hips. A lot of balance going on there between the two. Woodley won this one. I like how T. Wood stepped in with a right hand on that low kick, but I'm seeing a really good bottom game from Nathan Coy. Yeah, I'm curious to see how Woodley's top game here performs, given his experience at ATT. Superior Looking to pass Jiu the guard into full mount, and Woodley does so. Now if he can go to the other side, nope, thought nope. he was gonna go for the arm triangle back on his feet. Good presence there. Oh, counter right, clocks Coy. It was a body shot, too. And Woodley taking the fight to Coy front. Headlock now. Looking maybe for the guillotine arm in, but Coy powering out, nicely done, stepping away. And man, Woodley just ready for him. Roundhouse kick, oh, that would shave his head, but he's already done that. <laughs> Woodley showing a lot of confidence to step forward on those shots with that right hand. And Coy needs to stop kicking because Woodley's wow. timing it every time and letting that blistering right hand go. Tyron Woodley, six and oh, six wins via submission. One of the best prospects in all of mixed martial arts. And now gets one hook in, looking to get both lands out, Coy! Tell you what, you're seeing some real power out of Woodley against a very, and now very good are. wrestler. Almost an arm triangle choke there. <laughs> Great defense on the bottom from Nathan Coy, moving his hips side to side to stay out of the back mount. Woodley has only been out of the first round once. Coy comes in with a right-left combination, tries to get his footing again. Inside leg kick, drops a level. Beautiful balance and nice takedown defense exhibited by Woodley. Nice takedown defense, but that was some power. He ripped, he ripped him off of his legs. Within the first two and a half minutes of this fight, we've seen every aspect of the game of mixed martial arts. Short knee strikes by Coy, tries to tenderize the lead leg of Tyron Woodley. Advance your position, let's go. This, this right now is the style that Coy needs to be fighting. He needs to figure out a way to slow Woodley down. Coy takes Woodley down momentarily, Woodley back up on his feet. Two tremendous wrestlers going at it here. Strike Force Challenger Series, the Rose Garden in Portland. Local favorite, Nathan Coy, in the black flight shorts. Tyron Woodley in the red. Well-placed knees by Tyron Woodley. Side knee. We don't see that a lot in MMA. That was a Muay Thai knee strike. It is a Muay Thai strike for sure. Mainly a point scorer, but still, nonetheless, 
Cole has tenderized that front leg of Woodley with those knees. Oh. And the crowd and erupts into the chance of Nate here at the Rose Garden. Referee Dave Hagan splits him up. Nice knee again, and Woodley comes forward with an overhand right. That was a legitimate restart, too, because they were in a stalemated position. In wrestling, a restart would have happened a lot quicker. So these guys are used to that. It's interesting that Woodley allowed himself to be backed up to the fence again, rather than stepping to the center of the cage. There was some interesting body language that he yeah. exhibited, actually, on the break, Stephen. Good point. It looked like, I don't know if he was tired, maybe. I hope not. There going? There's a need from Woodley. Final minute of the opening round. It's been a frenetic pace between Coy and Woodland. Oh, nice straight left hand, but that may have caught. Nope, Woodley in the eye momentarily. Shrugs it off. Woodley stepping back to the fence. And, a, and back, straight back, not at an angle. Smart fighting by Coy now. He seems and to also be picking his shots a little bit easier. Coy with a nice knee. Woodley said this would be his toughest test yet. Fingers out of the cage. Coy, a local sport fight champion, the promotion run by our main event, fighter Matt the Law Lindland. Coy trains with Lindland at Team Quest. In the final five seconds, a very hotly contested and close round between Coy and Woodley. Tyron Woodley now knows he's in a fight, guys. Oh, for sure. He came out blasting at the early part of the round, but then Nathan Coy got it into a clinch. These guys knew this fight was coming. There's a Misha takedown Tate, product of uh, Washington State down here in Oregon with her significant other, Brian Caraway, taking in all the action. One of Strike Force's top 135 pound athletes. And Joel. Prizzy Bella, the Portland Trailblazers Center. We're here at the Rose Garden. Rise with us is the slogan. I remember Clyde the Glide Drexler. That's when I used to watch the Bulls. Absolutely. We glide into the second round here. Steven, how'd you score the first round? Oh, it's one of those rounds where Woodley was eating him up for the first half of the round. And Nathan Coy came on strong with a clinch work and a lot of knees to the body. I would have to say more damage came from Tyron Woodley, so I would give him the first round. Pat, do you concur? You got to remember where we're fighting at and who's in the ring. We got an Oregonian fighting in Oregon. Does that mean you disagree? <laughs> I think Tyron Woodley won the first round, but I think Coy might get the lean from the judges. Hometown advantage sometimes happens. Sometimes it does. Don't yeah. be so critical. Uppercut there lands. Coy eats it, steps back. I wouldn't have a problem with that going to Nathan Coy based on his work rate at the second half of the round. Yeah, he looked very good in the second half of the round and begins the second round the same way. Body shot by Woodley. Pot shot. Looking to set up that right hand to the head. Push kick to the knee by Coy. You can see that Coy's trained his Muay Thai quite a bit. Yeah, he's really multifaceted in this fight because he's staying on the outside, and that was dangerous at the early part of the round, but now he doesn't seem to be sweating it as much. <laughs> Teamwood looks a little frustrated here. Yes, uh, again, it's all about the body language. He's not getting off first, and that's a problem. Coy's getting off first every time. He's got that loose piece of tape that, uh, as we get into a Greco-Roman clinch, that you might want to be careful of. Don't want that to go in someone's eye. We've already had a fight ruined by an accidental eye poke in our last contest. A pyrrhic victory for relentless Roger Bowling, who, if that fight would have gone to the end, I could have seen facing the winner of this fight. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, title elimination fight. <laughs> so far, Coy doing a very good job in this round. And Beautiful just ate up knee by, by Woodland. Can't hang the head low in the over-under position. Boy doing a good job of 
keeping Woodley pinned up along the fence. Mixing in with some knees. Marl, you mentioned body language earlier. Yes. It looks like T Wood is fading here. Mm. What do you think, Pat? Stop. Uh, you know what? He could be sitting back trying to trying to catch his breath. He could be fading. I don't know, but I his think hands. he's frustrated, certainly. Yeah, his body language. Now it looks like he's got a problem with his eye. All right. I'll invest, Pat. Let's get this thing started. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar glasses, how much do you need? I'll invest. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, beautiful right hand by That's Woodley. Woodley coming back with a right. After that eye problem, it looked like T-Wood was emotionally nice. fired up for a second. Body kick there by Coy, straight left hand. Nice uppercut hook there by Woodley. Oh, and Woodley oh. is jacked, as does Coy. Nice exchange. Three minutes gone in the second stanza. By the way, I'll invest with loonies and toonies, just to let you know. They're going down oh. for the body, and Woodley again. Yeah, the Coy came back with a nice right hook. Clipped, clipped Woodley on the chin, it looked like. Nice shots. Nice body. Boy doing a good job of going downstairs, strafing the body, and landing on the head. Oh! Roundhouse. And there was a risk that may come back to Hardcore. We're going to see who scrambles to the top in this one. You know, a jiu-jitsu guy may fall to the guard and go for a guillotine in that position, but I don't think it's in a wrestler's mentality to do that. Nice job getting the back. Great job. Got the one hook in. Final minute of the second round. Woodley looking for the choke. Coy trying to defend it, doing a great job thus far, and escapes another perilous position. But for how long? Some ground and pound from back mount by Tyron Woodley. This is a huge turn of events because Nathan Coy was doing so yes. well in this round up until this point. Woodley needs to be punching here. He does need to get busy. Needs to send a message to the judges. Stay active down there. Let's go. Let's Final 30 seconds of the second round. Hammer fist delivered to the side of the face by Woodley. Coy doing a good job of trying to Tie control the, the wrists. Uh-oh. Now he's going to his back. Full mount perhaps here. 14 seconds left. Shoulder strike from Woodland. A round that began very well for Nathan Coy. Ends with Tyron Woodley in full mount. Nice for Some of the action from that nice job up. nice job knowing it's the end of the round go for it what the heck if you miss it it's the, it, the round runs out you're not in jeopardy smart move by tyron woodley to try and get it something is amiss with woodley steven yeah because he got off his stool and got down the ground and went into the splits position i'm not sure what that meant final round first time for tyron woodley a stiff test here in his seventh professional fight. I like those little side foot sweeps there. It's almost like a Shotokan move. Coy the southpaw. Again, nice inside leg kick, and Woodley dropping his hands momentarily. Woodley not able to brute his way forward like he did early in the fight. He's hanging back. And that was a non-committed right hand, and Coy pushes forward. Nice and a mouse is starting to develop under the right eye of Tyron T. Wood Woodley as Coy begins to pick apart the native of St. Louis, the product of American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. 
If you want to throw a guy's boxing skills off, keep chopping at that lead leg, and Coy's doing it. Coy's doing a very, very good job of it. Because basically that's going to set up your own punches by doing that. Eventually, T. Wood is going to drop his hands to try and catch a kick. And Woodley needs to do more of that right there. Flurries. He's got the skills. He needs to let him go. Nice body shot. Good counter right by Woodley. Another great inside leg kick by Coy. Beginning to irritate Woodley. Woodley with a good combination. Backs Coy up momentarily. Notice Woodley's back on the cage this whole round. Yep. Yeah. He's not wanting to engage not first. The way. And now goes for the takedown. Coy's sitting up. This is too, too close of a fight. Woodley cannot afford to, for this to go to the judges in the hometown of his opponent. He needs to finish the fight in this round. I agree, Pat. And now Woodley again gabbing the back of Coy. He's been in this predicament before and escaped. What about now? Flattening out Coy, turning in. Coy defending the choke thus far. Great scramble by Coy, but Woodley persistent. 243 left in the final round. Tyron Woodley desperately seeking the submission. Local product Nate Coy hearing the cheers from the partisan crowd. Coy smart, got his back against the cage, got the corner, turned the corner. And, and now he's got the high crotch. My, oh my. And the takedown by Coy. What a fight. That was an interesting point that Tyron Woodley, when he had top control, didn't throw a single strike in that last sequence. The Thinking too much about submissions, possibly. The ebb and flow of MMA, there was nothing like it. Pat, you said this was the fight you were most looking forward to. Thus far, it is living up to the hype. Woodley in trouble now. Now, positioning maybe for the leg lock, ball. leg lock, leg lock. Go for the leg. Less than two minutes left here in the third round. Very active on the bottom is Woodley. As far as the submission game, Nathan Coy has had an answer for every submission attempt that T. Wood has tried to lay on him. Great hand control on all choke attempts. That comes from a wrestling background. Coaches constantly scream, hand control, hand control. Coy has won four of his eight fights via submission. And now into the final minute and a half. Tyron Woodley, unbeaten through six fights. Nathan Coy. Wanting the hand of his first loss here in front of his hometown crowd. Will Woodley wall walk? Does he have it in his tank? Great move by Coy to put him back on his back. Yeah, pull his hips back out from underneath him. And you wonder when the, between the second and third round when Woodley was stretching, you wonder whether his legs were cramping up and he was fatiguing. Final 55 seconds. Woodley is not trailing in this fight. He needs a submission to win. Coy Absolutely. going to the body. Now to the head. The fans anticipating it. Elbow to the body. Coy mixing it up. Delivering strikes. Sending a message to the judges. Coy doing an incredible job of holding down Tyron Woodley. 30 seconds left. Woodley looking for the Kimura. Side control now by Coy. Coy walking around the head to defend it. North-South position now.
third round, there was plenty of action. Woodley did a great job of turning the corner on Coy, getting his back, putting the hooks in. You can see the power in him, flattening him out. Trying to go for submissions, maybe a little too much instead of just posturing up and dropping bombs on Coy. Coy did a great job coming back up also. A lot of scrambling here. You can see Coy getting his hips back up off the ground, very important. Backing himself up against the cage, Colt, so Woodley couldn't stay on his back. After he did that, he got in on the high crotch, the crotch lift, got Woodley up, and powered him over where he kept him the entire remainder of the round. Great job, because I tell you what, holding down Tyron Woodley can't be an easy job, and Coy did it and stayed busy with his punches and strikes. Very close fight, Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of MMA action, we go to the judges' scorecards. We have a split decision. Judge Laura Gregory scores about 29-28. She has it for Woodley. Judge Trevor Traxel scores about 30-27. He has it for Coy. And Judge uh, Jesse Sensor scores the bout 29-28 for your winner, Tyron T. Ward Whitley. Wow. I'm shocked. Close fight, close fight, but I am shocked. At the end, it wasn't close. All right, Tyron Woodley, you remain undefeated. Obviously not a popular decision in Coy's hometown. What, what did you think of your performance tonight, Tyron? Um, I thought I did good. He's a tough guy. I've um, come forward a lot. I used my counter punching. You know, I knew he was going to lean forward a lot. I think I hit him with some good shots. Um, I kept the takedowns to a minimum. So, yeah, I thought it was a good fight. It seemed that your body language at parts of the fight seemed to, to indicate that something was amiss. Were, were you 100% in this fight? Yeah, definitely was 100%. I just didn't want to show a lot of, you know, show a lot of technique too early. I wanted to let him get come forward. That's why I try to light him up. Considering how close this fight was, Tyron, would you grant him a rematch if the promoters decide to do it? Um, definitely. You know, I, I would grant a rematch. You know, but I also want to move forward in my career. Some guys that are lined up. It's the first fight I went through the distance in um, pro, so yeah. All right, there is your winner, Tyron Woodley. I'm gonna try to see if we can get a quick word with Nate Coy. Nate, if you would please. Nate, uh, a great fight, a fight. What did you think of, of your performance tonight? I think I was a little sloppy. I think, uh, I think it cost me the fight. I gave up a few possessions there, and it's uh, really a bummer. I, uh, you know. Are you okay with the decision? Uh, I, whatever. I'm not going to talk about that. Tyrone, way to go. You, uh, you came out and you fought hard, and uh, congratulations. Fans, would you guys like to see a rematch? Well, let's hope we can do it as Tyron Woodley, Nate Coy, let's hear it from both athletes, Portland. All right, we are just moments away from tonight's main event between Matt Law Lindland and King Kevin Casey. But first, here's a look at what's coming up on the Showtime calendar. Tomorrow night, Israel Vasquez and Rafael Marquez square off for the fourth time. Their trilogy was one of the best boxing has ever seen. Two of their battles earned Fight of the Year honors. Tune in at 9 p.m. and see what number four has in store. Tomorrow night's telecast begins with a bantamweight title fight as Yanni Perez makes the first defense of his championship against the undefeated Abner Mares. 